Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Web 11, and today we're back to playing the Ponya, the complete journey. So last time we basically made goal a a Lillian? Ah, fuck it, I don't even remember. Um, basically some girl upon the floating ship uh, fall off into the Ponya and now we have a little misguided I would say motivations to save her so with that being said let's get right back into it so I did look around for a second and you see the three hats here I did notice that this house, this house, and kind of this house match all three. So I kind of wondered if with this, we were supposed to put them here, here, and here, and then go from there. Oh, the blast. Take cover! Imminent blast! Well, let's... Oh, they're gone! I would have earned the one, but I guess the 63 will have to do. Um, which one is up next? Hello, Lottie. You again? <clears throat> you, you again? Oh, I love Lottie. Is it my turn already? No. Number 62? Estelle up! Wenzel. Wenzel, exactly! Mm. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. Okay, so we still have to get Wenzel out of the way. But... We do have 63 now. That's... A big improvement, I'd say. Um, I guess back into the alley. I want to talk to Lonzo. Lonzo. Yeah, he's the only person I haven't like filled out his full dialogue with, so I might as well. Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo? Are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. Honestly, I really like Lonzo. It's kind of dope. And I will say, I actually also like his accent. Oh boy, this is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, wow. You have pipes, tanks, valves. It's a, it's a, a it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. But this is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of Highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients are needed. Take the recipe, it's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm so excited. 
What a scrawl. Oh. Okay, I need clear, reviving, and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Kuvac. Ah, never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Uh, I hate in this game. I will say, I actually kind of like espresso. It's not bad. Huh? What was that? Oh, the emergency station is open again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Interesting. And why can't I click on the chameleon? The chameleon's the coolest part. You know, I have to say, Lonzo is fighting for number one spot as one of my favorite characters. I'm not gonna lie. He's dope. <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. <laughs> The fuck? I want to touch things. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. Ah, but are you? There's a hole in the platform. Oh, that's actually it's interesting. It's the last tree left. I hope it doesn't croak. I mean. Where would I test my herbicides? If it's this last tree, and it's still producing seeds, why wouldn't you... Okay, this goes on a previous point I had last uh, time. That, like, there should be manufacturing processes to refine a lot of the junk on this planet. And by doing that, you'd be clearing up space on that planet. By which you could be actually planting stuff, which could actually have, over time, a positive effect on the planet and atmosphere. Which would actually also have um, effect on air quality and lifespan. Uh, nothing else to pillage. Boy, how often did people around me carry that thing screaming like babies? Unfortunately, probably way too much. Handcuffs in a scale. That must be a symbol for, uh, <laughs> overloaded metaphors. Hmm, <laughs> kinky shit. <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. How did you... I'm not questioning it. Since the retirement home sunk into the ground, they don't let me work in the trash mines for community service anymore. Huh, maybe our system of justice is working after all. That's kind of super fucked up. No great in the world can hold me back. There, it moved while you were blinking. Uh-huh. I've stashed it in there for an emergency. Oh, damn! But we need the key to open it. You're an idiot. Okay. Oh! Doctor's cabinet. Crap. Locked. Distrust everywhere. True. Hmm. Ooh. Touchy touch. Oh! Oh, we needed the drill for the pipe. The clown amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> Clowns. Okay, that was an unhinged laugh, but okay. This could come in handy with my next amputation. Dr. Gizmo says Wenzel's toe could have been saved with non corroded tools. That's. Okay. I mean, non-corroded. 
if you are, don't get me wrong, if you are sharpening an object, I would kind of assume the corrosion on the object would come off. Oh, oh, um. That's not gonna flee. Really? But we can move it. Interesting. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. I'm curious. Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn, that would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. Which is the lock pick. Um, where's that hole? Oh, oh, hold on. If the fetters weren't so wide, I could attach them to the hole over there. Ah, but they are too wide. Okay. Okay, that gives me an idea at least. Oh, that's back out here. Okay. Um, first goal. Wenzel's house and we are literally sabotaging his house <laughs> actually that's pretty smart because if you have it too low the water pressure might get to the point that it might backflow um basically creating an even amount of pressure so it won't rise but if you have it too high the problem might be that it won't be enough. Now, what do we do with the furnace? Oh, hold on. I don't know if we ha can do anything with the furnace, but what we can do is hit the tap reservoir. That didn't work. Um... Huh. Oh, hold on. What if we need to do this? I don't this? want to waste all of my explosive mojo at once. Are you sure? Because it's honestly... Okay, let's... Let's go back out. It seems that... We might have to get up here. This brings water to the houses, or with fluid nitrogen, depending on the escape plan. Whoa! Wenzel has attached a protective cover to his chimney. What an egomaniac! Where am I supposed to practice spitting now? Wenzel has attached a protective cover. No, that's not gonna help. Um, okay. Now I have to figure out... Uh -huh. Okay, let's go back to the city center. Get ourselves... ...oriented. Okay, what do we need on the recipe? Coffee powder. Hot beans. We know what that is. But we can't get them yet. Black powder. Is that quite literally gunpowder? Extraordinarily stimulating. Clear water. Water. Univising liquid. Energy rich. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Um, 
Where's her house? I think the gloves could actually be used. Uh, <laughs> Gizmo is such a wimp. We are quite use literally using these. Shut the fuck up. Okay, we got one item. Oh, um... So we can't fill the balloons with water, but hear me out. Could we fill them with... Uh, the laughing gas? Long stretch, but might as well try. No way. No yeah, one will do for now. Okay, so one will do. What do we use it for? Curious. Curious, curious, curious. Um. So we need a lock pick for this. I know exactly what this is for. Um. I don't think we need anything here. Uh huh. Handcuffs in a scale. That over. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Do we have anything that could do it? Although I could hit them for sure, I'll never be able to get them down that way. Hmm, that is a good point. Are we gonna say... I'll save my tele... I wasn't gonna say telekinesis. Although I could hit them for sure, I'll... I won't get them down that way, huh? That, okay, that's, that's interesting. So we need the handcuffs for something. I'm assuming the handcuffs go on the foot photos, and then when we put them here, or like both of them on here, this prevents it from actually going back in, allowing us to get into the jail cell from underneath. Um, that's my assumption. But, at the moment, I got nothing. Um... Yeah, um... I was just... It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter, though, because I'm always cautious. I... I, I will admit, I do not like the teleportation. <laughs> that was really weird. Um. Huh. Hmm. Give me a sec. I think I can get them. I just need to work something out. Because what would it be? I'll save my time. Yeah, you're not helpful, honestly. <laughs> Burst. Are you an idiot? God damn it. Um. Okay, for now, put this back on. I need a. I think we can combine this some. This ad. Is subliminally trying to make me use this item with it. Must resist. <laughs> there has to be some amount of items I can combine. Oh. Never! My inventory could burn! And Tony is not gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This um... could be useful. This could be useful. I don't see what this will be good for. I mean, I already have enough holes in my teeth. Uh, this could come in handy with my next amputation. Dr. Gizmo says Wenzel's toe could have been saved with non-corroded tools. 
Tony always had weird tastes concerning flowers. The clown amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> Clowns. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I don't. I honestly don't know. Um. Actually, you know what? Okay, let me try something. They said I need to get uh, these things That's done, not right? gonna flee. That's not gonna flee. That's not gonna flee. Really? That's not gonna flee. Why wouldn't you just throw it? Boy, how often did people around me carry that? Huh. Uh, nothing. Uh. Nothing else to pillage. Oh, I'm so confused, actually. On what to do. You know what? Give me a second. I'll come back when I figure out what to do. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think that's the plan. So, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so... Where the fire extinguisher was... I put the foot fretters in... And they actually appeared up here. Then they fell off, hit uh, this side... And then knocked the handcuffs down. And then he just basically said strike. Okay, that's actually some progress. I'm sorry that I couldn't show it, but I mean, hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, oh shit, that is progress. Yes, the lockpick is available. Okay, so, now, okay, there's two options, and I want in both medical, um, boxes, I would guess. Okay, that actually is helpful. And our handy dandy lockpick. So mm, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. I'm sorry, you had a fucking heart attack? Ugh, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've a stimulant. Oh shit! We got the stimulant. Uh, to Tony's house now. Or Tony's? I guess. Come on, keep going. Let's go. Chop, 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 chop. Got shit to do, and we have no time to do it. Luckily, I'm a gift. What? Not even with this? What kind of a lockpick is this? Fascinating. Okay, so I think we quite literally need the key from Tawny. Okay, but we do have the stimulant, so we can check that off the list. I guess give it to Lonzo. I have stimulants. That's good. Did Doctor Gizmo give you some? Well, not exactly. But he had some, standing around unprotected in a tightly locked medicine cabinet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. If you say so. Uh, I guess we're not asking questions. So... Okay. Not my problem. So we got the syringe and stimulants. Um...
You have to be age six. Oh. Can we do anything with this? I don't remember if we could or not. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! <laughs> anything. Okay, let me have a closer look. You have to be age stock. Oh. Huh. I guess not. I guess it really doesn't care. Um. Wait, do we have anything? Lobo, let me. No. I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything. Shit, we need to get rid of Lonzo. I'm uh, not Lonzo, um... God. We also need the clock. Shit. Oh, I feel like we need to talk to Tony. Shit. Okay. Stuff. Wait. Anchors, metal boots, hooks, all the things you need if you want to stay moored forever. What else? Hooks over here. Vouchers that we need. This is where Tony's budgie cage used, but he could- He died yeah. after you- Details, details. Ah, terrific. The rotten smell from Sector 9 isn't so disgusting today. Kinda. What we need? The chili pepper? One whole chili? Still two ingredients missing. Uh, the stimulant's gone this one? Oh, that's so sketchy. <laughs> I'm sorry. The black powder. I don't... I don't... Oh no. Huh. There really is some blackish powder in there. But how can I extract it without blowing myself up again? Oh. Well, there we go. Black powder. Please, please never do this at home. I have to stress that enough. Cuz it's going to be some I idiot that does it. Powder? This itself might fucking explode. I don't know why Tony is letting us do this. Ground with love. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer. <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. Oh, that's so fucking. Ugh, I hate. Sir. Luckily, I've the. That's so sketchy. I'm sorry. Energy, rich water, rejuvenizing liquid, clear water. How does? Fuck. I'm assuming the sponge is gonna help out in some way. But then the question is, how? Oh, shit! The pot! Ouch! Damn it! That's hot! How would we... I don't like the direction this is taking at all. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I do either. Oh boy. Laughing gas? I can still recognize what it is, so I don't have to clean it. Uh, a whole logic. I can still wreck so. I don't think so. Never mind. I don't like the direction this is taking at all. I, that makes two of us. 
Oh, it's a horrible, horrible idea. Do I want to know what's going to happen next? Come up with a plan to boo the ultimate stimulant. Boo stimulant. Uh, the waiting time. We need to get rid of Wenzel. That means we need to convince him to fuck off. Oh, God. Okay, so... Energized. Clear. Exhilarating. Is... Is this just sketchy to me? I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. Was oh, this like sketchy to anyone else? I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. Oh lord, I don't even know at this point. I think we need to get into the other medicine cabinet. Honestly, I don't know how. Okay, come on, get in. Um. Hmm. Anything else we can talk to about? I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. You'll never get out of here. Never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. What was that again about the gift vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in it, and no, you can't have them. Then why are they called gift vouchers? Yeah, 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 we won't do that. The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Did you injure yourself again? Not yet. Too bad. You know what? Tell me when you have. I'll have a good long laugh, and then I'll give you the key. You wouldn't have some coffee somewhere around here, would you? Since you've been staying with me, I've only had decaf. And even that is too strong. Maybe I should finally get rid of the coffee grinder. It's just using up space, like you. Ouch. I need some ingredients. If there's nothing in the fridge, you won't be getting anything else. No. I mean... End of discussion. Start earning your own money, and you'll be able to buy your own food. I've got to go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are. Hey, stop it! What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail-order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some uh, hooks and uh, lead weights, obviously. Uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You Ouch. are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you gonna pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough? That I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still- Oh, this sucks! My blood pressure! I have to meditate. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, ouch! Hey! Um... <laughs> um... Ouch! Look at that! Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound, and what a great pleasure! That is to say... Wait a minute. You dirty rat! Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please! I'm bleeding to death here! If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store! If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change. Honestly? That's the closest I think we've ever heard from Tony about her feelings towards Rufus. 
God, that is painful. Oh, what the actual fuck? Oh, we got a hook. On the syringe, it says, only for drawing blood. Shit, <laughs> as if I need a special device for that. On the syringe, shit. Yeah. Oh, God, it's just gonna be a horrible idea. Can I not combine these two? Interesting. Somebody seems to be hooked on hooks, but it's not me. Oh. Actually, let me look at the recipe. Rejuvenizing energy wick, which clear. What the fuck is the tranquilizer for? Oh, hold on. Is there anything else in there? Doesn't seem like it. Blech. What nuts is Frank Light oh don't in the pot? I can still recognize so. I don't have to clean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... Uh, honestly? What Tony just said made me want to... Want to know... Uh, oh, can we not... Hold on. Hear me out. The dot? No. I'm as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart, um... This is fuck. That's a great idea. All that's missing is a blowpipe. Really? Hmm. The funnel would make an excellent blowpipe. No. <laughs> Indeed. Oh my god. This is awful. I literally... This isn't even the first game I played. Where a character has been... Knocked out with a blow dot. My lord. My lord and savior. What the, a dart? A little longer. Jesus. Ah. Jesus Christ. And. Ah. Oh, what am I getting mad at anyway? Strike. Oh my god. I like Tony much better this way. She seems more relaxed. Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? <laughs> and while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Mm, just, a, just, just a moment. What? Uh, Did you mention weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those those nifty vouchers? Keep your hands off. I've counted them. Oh. Oh. That was almost a step too far. He's very lucky he didn't cross that line. Okay. I'm trying to think. He did say something about a weather balloon. Can we do something with that? No shit, we can actually. But what does that do? I have no clue. 
I'm assuming we have to hook it onto something. And... Hold on. Is this gonna be something that we can get rid of that chimney with? Oh, please. Yes. This wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. Also, can someone let me know if laughing gas is actually heavier than... Ah! Or like lighter than normal air? Oh, there we go. Because I never thought it was. Oh, that's so gross. Poor Wenzel. His tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Wenzel? I'm down here! Come quick! You won't believe your eyes! <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. <laughs> Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod. You are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me, and now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment. The moment of triumph. Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my tooth. I see. I'm rich! Okay, let's use this moment to not only get the divining line, but to get that clear water. I don't want anything to do with Wenzel's stinking well. Yes, you do. Don't be an idiot. Hey, that's my dad's divining rod. I don't want anything to. Are you sure? I kind of, kind of would, you know, get the water. I uh, okay. Well, I mean, uh, is there anything else we can do in here? There. I can see it clearly. Grit, and there's a dead beetle. Oh, clear water. Ugh. Clear water, that's exactly what we need, no? I don't like the. I don't want anything to do. No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, wait, do we have to. Okay. Okay, hear me out. Do we have to... Oh, that actually stopped. Now that it's stopped... There, I can grit and... I don't want any... With a stinking well. Fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Well, that is clear water, and we do need it. But how do we get it? Ah, Rufus, I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor was very excited to hear about my discovery. He believes the water vein might make Kuvak one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now, it looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? Oh, don't make me laugh. Why? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvak. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, 
I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her. And I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, I'm... Next up, number 63, please. Okay, hold on. Before we do that, I just remembered. Remember how the windshield was super dirty? Is that what we used the sponge on? Ugh, I named really necessary. Oh. But might as well. The seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. A puppet is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's sign it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Oh, the lock pick. Uh, that's a swinge. Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. What? Not even with this? What kind of a lock pick is this? Yeah, what the fuck? It only works on one thing. Drill? Luckily, I'm a gifted lock yeah. picker. Damn, that would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. The seats are a puppet and on the... Sh <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's... I suppose let's go talk to the mayor for now. Or even Wenzel. Rufus, so how do you... Well, I... Hello, Lottie. You again? Get... I'll skid that. Ah, uh, ticket 60. There we go. Is it my turn already? Yes, it is. I ar <coughs> already called your number, didn't I? I really like Lottie. I like. I guess the thing I like most is like the switch between the two voices. It's kind of interesting. Lotech, I have to talk to you. It's about. Wait, where is he? Lotech? Uh, what? Who's disturbing me? Whoa, are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. Huh. Well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind too. Be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? Oh, that's actually quite interesting. But then again, why did he leave then? I'm here for the Elysian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But it was me who found her. As far as I know, it was Hannick who found her. Well, I found her first. And you just left her lying there? Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. Ah. Uh... But I have to help her return to her world. To Elysium? <laughs> That's a good joke. You should know better than anyone else that there's no way to leave Deponia. Nothing that ends up on Deponia will ever leave again. My dad made it. That's neither probable nor verifiable. I know that's what you'd like to believe, but I believe it's more likely that your father ended up crashing into some trash heap. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. Hmm. Well, the thing is, we did make it up to Elysium. Or at least the floating ship that goes to Elysium. So, honestly, I can actually believe his father doing the same thing. That's too bad. How exceptionally reasonable of you. I've made my decision, and there's nothing you can do about it. But, but I saved her life. I find that hard to believe. Considering you're responsible for 90% of all injuries that happen in Kuvak. Oh my well, god. But 90% of those ha have been my own injuries. Listen, Rufus. 
Whenever chaos breaks out in Kuvak, you are responsible for it. As far as I know, you might even be responsible for that girl falling from the sky. Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally, there is a god. Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. Hmm. You bet. Oh, now what? Hmm. What? Instead of just moving the desk, my dad preferred messing with the planet's magnetic field? Well, he was the most egocentric and stubborn person I've ever met. Hey, that's a lie! Oh, yeah? Why do you think he left you here? Because he didn't care about anyone but himself. Not even his own son. Not even for his own son. Pretty ironic that you've become just as egotistic as he was back then. Egotistic? Me? Ha! Just recently, I risked my own life to save a girl from the clutches of the Organon. Completely without ulterior motives, I suppose. You better believe it. My ass. You'll be surprised, Lotech. I will save the girl. And then everyone on this planet will realize how selfless I really am. But then it'll be too late, because then I'll already be sitting in some cocktail lounge in Elysium and laughing about you fools and how you still have to live in this junkyard. You'll see. Hmm. Magnetic field. When does the post office open? Whenever I feel like it. I am the mayor, you know. What a stupid rule. That was your father's idea. Um, stupid, but not bad. Not, not bad at all. <laughs> I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. <laughs> you don't even have your own residence, do you? You're mooching off your former girlfriend. <sighs> yeah, well, at least I'm Oof. not sleeping in the drawer of my desk. Watch your tongue, son. This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Huh. If only your father were here to put you in your place. You know darn well he worked here before me. Oh yeah, you mean he slept here? You don't even know what real work is. If you'd put in a little more effort, you could have followed in your father's footsteps. My father's footsteps led away from this dump, and I'll get away from this rock too. And you think you'll reach your goal without a serious effort? <sighs> I'm beginning to understand why he didn't take you with him. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. I think that one was a little bit too far. I can't stop thinking about what you said. That my father manipulated. Well, get over. Your father installed that device for a reason. He manipulated the magnetic field so he could sleep in harmony with the field lines. I can't imagine how that's supposed to work. Well, it does work. I sleep like a baby. <sighs> The only downside is that carrier pigeons are constantly crashing into my window. That's actually kind of funny. The girl belongs- Wrong! I'm fu- Are we done? Mm. No. That's it. Well, then just beat it! I need to get to the assembly hall. As he goes back to sleep. Oh! <gasps> Loot. Hmm. I kind of know this symbol. Wait. What's this? A hidden compartment? Well, looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. Oh! <laughs> a key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I'd get for it if I melt it down. Uh, you idiot. Next, please. Hmm. Guess I'm last in line. Whatever. Who could possibly succeed except for me? What a pilot. Hmm. What? Oh, and then the key. This might be unnecessarily complicated, but I'm certain Dad wanted to make sure that I'm the only one who could get this far, get to his big secret, his legacy. His liquor cabinet. I'm actually starting to believe that? Clear water. It really exists. All that's missing is the energy-rich and stimulating additives. Energy-rich. This, for once, 
is not an ingredient for the recipe. I think I'm making good progress. Huh. On the syringe, yeah. As if. I actually think the syringe is for putting the coffee directly. An energy rich liquid. In. To, um. Go directly. Which I think is kind of stupid. Telly typewriter. S O L O N G Y O U F U C K E. Damn, where was I? So long, you suck. There's a message from the mayor of Buzo Westfog. O O I C U R N E D O T. Huh? Either a cat was jumping up and down on the keyboard, or the operator must have gotten that all wrong. Current. Yeah, I have no clue. Um, I want to touch the bell. Hmm, that doesn't seem to One be... One of the few long-distance radio devices in this backwater town. Why are we paying an operator if nobody's ever making a call? I know why I don't pay taxes. Hmm, that seems to be everything for now. But, you know what? I think we made some decent progress. And I'm quite satisfied with it. So, let's... And did you for now? We'll continue on next time. And see where everything goes, you know? I'm actually enjoying this game. I think one of the things I'm enjoying most is learning about um, the town and Rufus and like, everything and it's connecting. Though, I kind of feel people are a little bit too mean to Rufus. I get that he's caused a lot of problems ever since he was, what was it, six or eight, something like that. But like, he's not a bad person at heart. And he is quite intelligent from what we see. He's just always yearning for something that's almost out of his reach. And he doesn't want to take the small steps to get there, he wants to take the big leap. And honestly, if he actually did follow in his father's footsteps, I think he would probably be a little bit better off. But I don't hate the person he is at the moment, you know? But anyways, that's all I really have to say. So, thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Love Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares.